Blessings and peace, dear ones. It is a delight to come forward again at this time upon your earth so that you do know and realize that we are with you, many ascended beings of light, many angelic and archangelic beings, all those who love you and who are working for your evolution, who are working always, growing, evolving, with you. So we welcome all those guides and helpers as you come forward to watch this presence that I bring forward for you. Because it is all about the presence of your higher self, who we invite to come forward. The higher self that connects with the divine, with the source of light, of divinity that is within you. This is what matters most of all in your life at this time, but really always, just especially at this time. So I encourage you to view this time as a special opportunity, an opportunity for you to practice the presence of your higher self. The thing is, you know, People say, well, I meditate. Yes, I do, Chang Fu. And then I discover, I ask them, so what do you do in your meditation? Oh, they say, I empty my mind. Well, that is wonderful. And that's a very, very incredible skill. But I would like you to also add to that skill of meditation, the skill of visualization, of being a creator in your world, that from that beautiful empty mind, that place of peace and wonder that you are, as it were, nurturing within you, you realize that now you are required, you are asked to come forward as a co-creator of a new reality here upon the earth. And that is something you've come here to do. So every time I come forward, I'm really going to be working with you to help you understand how you do that. How do I do that? How do I become a co-creator with the divine beings who are, who are millions of souls, but combined as one great power of light? You know, some people say they can't see God. Really? Did you ever look at a flower? Did you ever look at nature and the wonder of creation? Did you ever look up in the night sky and see the millions of galaxies and stars and you didn't see God, goddess? You don't know the divine? Oh, yes, you do. You just gave it another name. And this depersonalization has been an intentional uh, distraction for you. You all know the divine. You know God. It's in you. You are that power divine. So my work with you is always to help you understand your divine power, each and every one, because it is this combination, this coming together of your divinities that turns the whole tide of your evolution here upon the earth, that brings you into your power, that you, in invoking divine presence, realize the divine presence. It's in you. When you call out, God help me, you're also calling out from that part of you that helps you. Goddess, help me. You're calling out from your deep knowing of the divine power as you. Because why would you call out if the divine can't help hear you and help you? You see, you are the divine being. The, is to understand there is no separation. There never was any separation. You always have been the evolving divine plan here upon the earth. All beings are part of this divine plan here upon the earth. Even those that are so-called negative, you know, who seem to be doing a lot of harm, believe it or not, that they are serving the divine plan. Because they cannot, you see, they, this is what you really must understand. They cannot ever defeat love. Love is invincible. Love is God, goddess. Love is power. Love is all there is. Love is the truth. 
It cannot be defeated by fear or any kinds of plots or plans that take you away from love. It can be victorious for a while until suddenly you realize, oh, wait a minute, I, I think I lost my way. I, 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 I can't see love anywhere. I need to go back to that junction I, I turned at a while back and I need to go back to love. I need to come back into my heart. And the human being who has come from the source divine is returning there. The beings who have lost their way, who have turned completely away, they will also go back there eventually. It is not for you to, in a sense, get involved in their journey. But that's also a very big statement. Once you realize that someone, it might be a friend, it might be someone you know, it might be someone you don't know, it might be someone you hear of. Once you realize that they have gone off the path that they don't know. They can't remember love and the divine. They've lost their heart. They've lost their soul. They've lost their connection. It is not your job to get them back. It's not even your job to confront them. Your job is to stay connected yourself because everything that those beings will be doing will be to try and get your attention, to try and distract you, to get your energy, to get the power from you. So this little practice today is for you to stay really strong, a visualization for you to hold fast in confrontative, difficult situations where you can feel your belly, your, your guts being really kind of invaded with some kind of negative power. So breathing deep and knowing that around you many human beings are dwelling upon this earth. Feel yourself connecting to many brothers and sisters of light who are connected to the divine, realizing you are one great stream of consciousness incarnate here upon the earth. In your mind's eye, see the most beautiful version of yourself you can possibly imagine coming through your crown center into your being, a being of pure light, of many beautiful colors, who dwells with the divine, your higher self. Just feel for a moment and visualize yourself as a supernormal being who knows everything that's happening. Never mind knowing it in your mind, just know it in your spirit. Because the most important thing that's happening is that you are arriving in your body with all of your colors, with all of your skills and talents and with your divine essence fully intact, filling your being with light. Feel this energy coming in as pure light. And as it comes into your mind, it fills your brain with positive energy, with love, with thoughts of beauty, of creation. It comes into your eyes and your inner eyes open and show you the most wonderful earth an earth of great beauty and great wholeness, a healthy earth with healthy human beings and healthy species upon it. And as that energy pours down from the source of you, your higher self, beautiful, multicolored being, as it comes into your voice, feel that your voice opens up and as though you are walking in nature, upon the earth and you are singing the song of life, the song of love, the song of connection to the divine source, the song of gratitude. Whether you can or consider that you can sing or not is neither here nor there. If you wish to make a sound that's beautiful, any sound is fine. 
can just be ah, just one sound, oh, one sound. Your sound adds itself to the symphony of creation happening at this time as you envision this beautiful new earth being created right now through all of you, your brothers and sisters, through the divine beings, extraterrestrials, and starseed beings both here on the planet coming in. Feel yourself combined at one with all those souls right now. Breathe, expand your being, open your heart, ah, and feel how the energy is streaming down now into your heart, filling your heart with light, with love power, with strength, with confidence and courage. I am here and I love the earth. I love all of humanity. I love my brothers and sisters. I bring love divine to incarnate in my body and bring it right in, down into your guts, into your sacral center, your hara. I embody this love. I embody the presence of my higher self right now here upon the earth. I open my heart to bring the creator light through me. I see the visions that I am shown of healing, of wholeness, of human beings coming together in communities of love, of co-creation of new ways to be based on love and kindness, cooperation, sharing, compassion. I see all distributed. I see those in need receiving what they need. I see those who are suffering receiving healing, those who are hungry receiving food. I see that there is abundance for all. Deep, deep healing taking place, going right back through the ancestors. I see small children running and playing in joy and peace and love and harmony, free upon the earth. I see even the healing of some souls who were extremely blind and closed and even doing harm to others. I see them receiving divine love. I see them being forgiven and coming to a place within themselves of deep healing and connection, returning to the divine source. I see that I am connected to all beings throughout this earth and beyond. And I call for the streaming of love from a divine source into all hearts and minds everywhere at this auspicious and extraordinary time where the gateways through all the dimensions have been opened for this purpose, the purpose of lifting up the energy field of the whole of the human race. And breathing deep, feel yourself connected deep into the earth, with your feet upon the earth like roots that take this energy of love, of connection down as though you would reach out to all the beings who dwell within the earth's body of light, the animals, the water beings, the serpent beings, and those who dwell within the air, the birds, insect devas. taking the energy out into the world, seeing yourself connected to all beings, seeing this love streaming forth into all the beings, into the plants and the trees and the flowers, the rocks, stones, crystals, metals, minerals that are deep within the earth, beings of intelligence, giving thanks for your life, each and every one, and I give thanks for you that you are willing to come forward and spend this time connecting with ourselves, with all the beings of light, the angelic and archangelic beings and with the many deities 
working with you, co-creating a wonderful new reality upon the earth, healing fear, dissolving karma and all the bonds that arise from the negativities of the past, freeing souls to walk forward together in peace, love, harmony, beauty, truth, kindness and compassion, abundance, deep soul connection and deep understanding that is beyond the mind. Blessings in peace to you all. Thank you for coming to join us on the Chong Fu channel. If you love all of Chong Fu's teachings, transmissions and meditations, then please do share with your loved ones, with your family, with your friends, because we are together building the Temple of Light. Blessings and peace. Blessings and peace to you ones.